Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm, I'm Ming. You might know me as Kev or Kevin. And today I'm gonna to be making a video about crossroad junctions. So this video is gonna be particularly helpful for any learner drivers who have perhaps done a few lessons with their driving instructors using crossroad junctions, but maybe a little bit confused about you know how to approach it which method to use maybe it's going to be the near side to near side whether it's going to be the off side to off side method so i'm just going to make a, um, a video here just to help you uh, get a better understanding of how these how these crossroads work and as usual i'm just going to do some commentary driving as i'm driving along to help you with your awareness and planning and hazard perception so you just know what I'm doing what I'm thinking and how I'm tackling the uh, hazards ahead so we've got a crossroad junction coming up ahead actually just by the traffic lights I'm going to turn right at the particular crossroads I'm checking my middle and right mirrors and giving a right signal there's only one lane here so but I'm going to position just slightly to the right just in case a motorbike or cyclist wants to get past on the left hand side Looking ahead at the crossroad junction, I can see um, there are some road markings in the middle of the road. Now the arrows are quite faded, but they're directing me in the um, direction or the position of near side to near side, left side to left side. So as I move out into the junction, I'm going to just slightly turn my car to the right as I ease out into the road. Keep an eye on the uh, traffic coming towards you and try and work out what they're trying to do. At the moment it looks like the car directly opposite me is indicating left or to my right hand side so i'm not going to be particularly concerned about them at this stage unless they change their mind when the traffic lights turn green more concerned about maybe the second car the third car or the uh, yellow van i can see ahead of me not too sure what they're trying to do at this current moment in time should be me next anyway so the traffic light should be turning green for me and I'll show you how, how, how I'm going to tackle this. Okay, so I'm just going to ease out into the middle of the junction. Slightly turn to the right. I can see the car in front of me is turning to their right. So we both go near side to near side. There's a van coming from ahead. I need to give way to two vehicles. The white car's coming, but they're turning to their right hand side. Gives me a chance to go. So there's your first crossroad junction, guys. Just turning right at that particular junction. I'm going to go around actually and come back to the same one so we can take another look at it from um, a different direction. At the end of this road I'm going to be turning left so checking my middle and left mirrors. Signal left, it's a closed junction. Got a bush on either side of the road, can't see anything so I'm going to slow down, roll it back into first gear, take a good look both ways make sure it's safe before I merge. I can see a car coming from the left, so I'm not gonna to go too far. Just gonna pause here for a moment, just to let the car come past. There's nothing on the right-hand side. And, yep, it's safe, off we go. Checking all three mirrors. When I've entered a new road, see what's coming, coming from behind me, see if I need to respond to anything. At the end of this road, I'm gonna be turning left. So about six to eight car lengths away from the end of the road. I'll indicate left, but check my mirrors first slowing down it's a close junction again so i'm gonna to have to come to a stop looking both ways as i get to the end of the road it looks pretty clear i'm gonna ease out into the road the traffic lights are red so i can't go too fast just rolling out and preparing to stop behind the uh, car in front same crossroad junction here turning right again checking middle and right mirrors right signal on so i already know it's near side to near side we've just done it about two seconds ago let's see what's happening here then so the white car's got himself in position the Audi's going to position in the near side to near side and yep looks safe to go so that's it off we go guys onto the dual carriageway 40 mile an hour speed limit here so it's safe to do so so i'm going to reach 40 miles an hour but just gradually accelerating as to keep in line with eco-safe driving. There will, be, there will be a couple of more crossroads coming up, guys. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to be uh, heading down the chill carriageway. So 
So guys, there's a few things you need to take into consideration when you're using crossroads. Uh, one of them is uh, which method you're going to use. Usually it's going to be either near side to near side or off side to off side. So there are only two methods. Um, all right, so what favors near side to near side? Well, usually when there's a lack of road space available, near side to near side is probably going to be your best bet. What favors off side to off side? Well, when you've got more space, so a more area in the road, then usually that would favor off side to off side. Um, so what you do will sometimes depend on how much space you actually have. You also need to consider what the other driver coming from the opposite direction is doing. So sometimes you might be thinking, oh, you know, I want to use the near side to near side method. But the driver coming from the opposite direction, they might want to use the offside to offside method. Obviously, you can't talk to each other because you're not in the same car. So what I would do normally is approach the junction. Well, as when the traffic lights turn green, for example, you would move out into the junction nice and slowly. Um, look at the driver coming from ahead. Try and figure out what they're trying to do. So if they're moving at a similar pace to you and you're aiming for the near side, near side position and you start turning your wheel to the right hand side fairly early, they're doing the same thing. It's fairly obvious that they want to turn near side to near side. But let's say, for example, they come out a little bit faster than you. So they're a bit more aggressive, maybe. And it looks as though they want to drive behind the back of your car. So clearly that shows you that they want to be going the the offside to offside uh, method of turning. In which case, because you've been traveling at a slower speed, it gives you then the option of changing your mind. So from plan A to plan B, then you can switch to plan B and carry on going in a straight line and then go behind each other. So therefore you're turning in the offside, the offside position. Um, yeah, it's true to say it could be the other way around. So you might be planning to turn offside to offside, but the car or the driver from the opposite direction might be planning to turn near side to near side. But if you move out into the road nice and slowly, uh, keep your car in a nice straight line, keep an eye on the on the uh, driver coming towards you. If it looks like they want to go offside to offside, they too would probably go slowly and travel in a straight line, and therefore you can drive past each other and turn around the back of each other in the offside to offside position. But let's say, for example, they come out quicker than you and they've already started steering to the right hand side or to their right right hand side which would be your left hand side then that of course will tell you that they they're trying to go near side to near side and like I said before because you've eased out into the road at, at a nice gentle controllable speed you can change your mind you can switch from plan A to plan B again so you can go from offside to offside to near side to near side quite easily um, so guys there will be another crossroad junction coming up very shortly just by the traffic lights and when we get there we'll take a look at it together and see see what it is that we'll need to do driving in Hounslow at the moment there's a little bit of traffic as there usually usually is in Hounslow busy area I want to be turning right at the crossroad junction so I'm just going to get past these cars queuing up in the left lane it's safe to do so as there are no cars coming from the opposite direction slot back into the uh, into the right lane here check my middle and right mirrors give a right signal let's wait for the traffic lights to turn green and uh, let's try and work this one out <coughs> So at the moment I'm looking across the other side of the road I can actually see the cars coming from the opposite direction and some of them have turned right most of them are going straight so that pretty much tells me tells me when my lights go green they're probably going to be held on red lights and not be, be able to move let's confirm if that's true it's just moving out into the road now cars from the opposite direction aren't moving so they must be on red lights which means green lights are just green for me and the cars behind me so we can just turn without having to stop in the middle of the road right so I'm just driving along Bath Road now for you guys who know Hounslow Bath Road is a very busy road I'm just heading down towards Hounslow West just after Hounslow West tube station there is another crossroad junction that I will be showing you guys 
and once again I'll be turning right when I get to that particular junction. Bit of traffic jam again. Stationary traffic in front of me, just checking my mirrors before I slow down. Keeping a safe distance behind the vehicle in front. When you're traveling in traffic guys it's a good it's important to keep a safe distance behind the the car in front uh, we have a little rule it's called the tires and tarmac rule so when you're stopping behind the car in front make sure you can see the bottom of their tires and a bit of the road so you know that's where the name comes from tires and tarmac and that's what i'll be doing keeping, keeping a safe distance behind this honda all the way up to the crossroad junction Okay, there's a yellow box in front of me, box junction. Basically, that means you've got to keep it clear. So I'm not going to enter the box until I know I can come out the other side. It now looks safe to go through the box and come out the other side so I don't get stuck. And that's why I've continued going. We're going to go straight on at the traffic lights here. We've got another yellow box here. So again, just making sure the car in front clears the box before I go past. Check my mirrors before I'm stopping as the lights have just turned red. <clears throat> Here we have Hounslow West Tube Station on my right hand side. Just after the Tube Station we've got a set of traffic lights. It's a crossroads junction. We're going to be turning right at that particular junction and I'll be showing you guys what to do there and how I, um, how I tackle it. Another yellow box in front of me. It's pretty clear so obviously safe to carry on driving. Checking my middle and right mirrors the right signal on as I'll be turning right at the crossroad junction this particular junction has a yellow box again um, so the rules are slightly different for when you're turning right at a crossroad junction so when you're turning right you can actually stop inside the box it's only when you're going straight ahead or when you're turning left that's when you need to make sure you can come back out of the box so that you don't stop inside and cause congestion but you know like I said if you're turning right you can actually enter the box and wait um, and the only reason why you would wait is because you won't have priority here you're gonna have to give way to oncoming traffic and cars ahead who are turning to your right hand side or their left hand side I'll show you what I mean so I'm just entering the yellow box now I'm gonna stop my car about halfway in the road turning near side to near side method just seeing if there's a safe gap to cross the other side. Just edging forward a little bit. Okay, so the lights have now gone red. The cars from the opposite direction have stopped moving. So I'm just going to complete my turn. So that's how that crossroad junction works. Um, so again, it was the near side to near side method because there wasn't a lot of room in front of me. There was a yellow box, but it didn't matter on that occasion because you can actually stop inside the yellow box when you're turning right. The next crossroad junction is it's going to be the, probably the busiest one that I'm going to show you today. Now this particular one, we're going to be turning right again, but there's a lot of room here. So usually, usually people go the offside to offside method. Let's see if that's the case today. So I'll be checking my mirrors, get my right signal on. Traffic lights are red, obviously. So I'll be stopping just here behind the car in front. Now, when you're turning right offside to offside, the advantage of offside to offside is that you get a better view because you've actually gone past each other and you're turning after each other. You can actually see what's coming from the, from the road ahead. Whereas with the near side to near side method, because you're turning in before each other, so you're kind of approaching like this and turning in this position, you're not always able to see what's coming from the from the road ahead, which makes it a little bit, bit more tricky. It's almost as if you're at a closed junction and you can't see, so you, you've got to keep creeping and peeping. Right, so I'm going to keep my car in a straight line. I'm going to drive past the middle of the road, so I'm probably about three quarters of the way across the road now, coming to a stop here allowing room on the left hand side for the cars behind me to carry on going 
So now I'm using the offside offside method. So any car coming from ahead who wanted to turn to their right, they should go past me and turn behind the back of my car. When there's a safe gap, I'm going to nip across and complete my turn. Fairly busy today, so there's a lot of cars. Okay, that car stopped. So, yeah, then it was safe for me to go. Right, so that particular crossroad, it was the offside to offside method. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for, for my um, crossroad video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or felt that you've learned something, then please like the video. Um, yeah, subscribe to my channel. That'd be, that'd be very helpful. Um, yeah, so thanks very much and see you on the next one guys. Bye for now.